uh, we've shown you how to rip and burn your own CDs. Something probably that uh, Lieber and Stoller would hate. <laughs> now here's James Kim. He's going to show us what people say is the first non-copyable CD. So James, you've got Charlie Pride there. Have you been able to crack it yet? Well, I'm one of those people so far. We just got this in yesterday. This is the Charlie Pride, a tribute to Jim Reeves. Great CD. And uh, plays like a regular audio CD. You can play it in any audio CD player, except it won't play in a PC, so uh, it won't, the PC won't recognize the files uh, as waves or CD audio files. Therefore, you can't copy it or you can't rip it in a program like Music Match. Now, uh, just a, li a little while ago, mm -hmm. uh, in fact, just before the record was released, two or three cuts from that record were put out on the net as MP3s, and people claimed that they had, in fact, cracked the Suncom. Right. I spoke with it. some uh, Suncom representatives this morning, and they claimed that uh, these... Uh, MP3 files that showed up on some web page on Yahoo uh, were actually copied using the old, you know, pipe in the audio CD into an, a sound card method. So that wasn't a true digital copy. Right. So, so far it hasn't been cracked. I'm sure someone will crack it sometime soon and we'll hear about it. But uh, what's interesting about this CD is that uh, you can use it in your PC. Uh, you, you can access uh, a web page using this CD. There's a little thin ring right here, which is some HTML data, what you can do is go online if you're connected and download WMA file versions of these tracks. Mm. And these are protected, so you can only listen to them in your PC. You can't transfer them. They're working on uh, a method to transfer them to digital devices like uh, portable devices like the Rio 800. And uh, another thing about this, you cannot use these in a DVD, ROM, or a CDRW yet. So, you know, I tried to uh, get this thing working for this screen, but both of our machines are our DVD ROM slash CDRW. Interesting so. because, of course, copy protection schemes only succeed to the extent that they don't discommode legitimate users. It sounds like legitimate users are going to have to put up with some inconvenience. Absolutely. This is the first uh, title to come out on this technology. The technology is from Suncom. Uh, the technology is actually called Media Cloak. And so far, it's working pretty well, but I don't know if a lot of the users out there will accept or appreciate yeah. this because you know it's basically putting limits on what they can do with their own CD that they bought. If it hurts sales, you can be sure nobody else will do it. Thank you, James. You're Can't welcome. Keep on cracking.